The Union of Concerned Scientists wrote the World Scientist Warning to Humanity in 1992. They warned that humans were inflicting harsh damage to the environment. They said critical changes were needed to prevent irreversible harm. Last year was the 25th anniversary of the initial warning. In the journal Bioscience, colleagues and I measured what had changed in the last 25 years. Unfortunately, things have gotten a lot worse. There was a 26% decrease in freshwater resources per capita. Some towns are now running out of water. Vertebrate animal numbers decreased by 29%. Forest cover decreased by 2.8%. What was increasing during the time were markers that signalled a planet under greater strain. The number of what we call dead zones, essentially nearshore marine zones that can no longer host or support life, increased by 75%. Carbon dioxide emissions increased by 62%. And in tandem with that, global surface temperatures continued to rise. Meanwhile, a human population reached more than 7 billion and the number of livestock rose to almost 4 billion, a 20% increase since 1992. So with these results, what did we suggest humanity do? Our paper gave 13 suggestions on what humanity can do to reverse the trends we uncovered, ranging from the creation of more nature reserves to reducing food waste and increasing outdoor nature education for children. The urgency of the issue and the extraordinary amount of support that is out there in the scientific community, and more broadly, to heed the scientists' warning to humanity, was quickly on display. 15,000 scientists representing 184 countries co-signed our paper in support of its message prior to publication, endorsing its content and suggestions. Nearly 5,000 more scientists have since signed on in support. So if you're a scientist out there and you want to learn more and co-sign our paper, you can still do so and please do so. The paper was covered by more than 300 news outlets and translated into 18 languages. It featured in 9,000 tweets on Twitter. It has become one of the most discussed papers of 2017 and 2018, even featuring in the speeches of parliaments of Israel and Canada. In several thoughtful letters published in response to our paper, there were calls for more scientists to be involved in policy making, to create a new environmental ethic, and to recognise and accept there are critical environmental limits to economic growth. Other responses suggested scientists should focus less on the doom and gloom and more on the conservation wins. It's an approach called conservation optimism. Today, in a follow-up piece in bioscience, we respond to these contributions. We make two key points. The first is about carbon pricing. We suggest that putting a price on carbon is arguably the best way to promote a global shift toward a conservation economy while also fighting climate change. 42 countries currently use carbon pricing. We argue for an accelerated uptake and an increase in carbon prices to affect change. The second point is perhaps more easily implemented. We recommend that Nobel Prizes should be given in the field of economics to those who are incorporating the limits of the biosphere in economic theory and forecasting. We believe this would help draw attention to the economic drivers of environmental degradation. It would help spur a shift away from the current status quo of unlimited economic growth. If you'd like to learn more, our 25th anniversary Scientists Warning to Humanity paper is an open access paper published in Bioscience. Our response is also open access and published in Bioscience. And like I said, if you are a scientist wanting to co-sign the paper, you can still do so on the project website.